All right, so you're thinking of moving to Abbotsford, BC. I myself, I've lived here for almost six years, and in this video, I'm gonna share some things that you're probably gonna to wanna to know before you move here. I'm that Agent Kelly, Abbotsford slash Fraser Valley Realtor, and if you're thinking of moving to Abbotsford, I got a link down in my description that books right into my calendar. Feel free to reach out so me and you can have a chat. All right, so the fifth thing you should know about Abbotsford is that it's pretty rainy here. It rains often. The fall season is mostly overcast with a little bit of sun sprinkled here and there. Winter is mostly overcast with a little bit of sun sprinkled here and there. And then spring, it pretty much just rains the entirety of all of spring. And then summer is pretty sunny. Like it never really used to be, but lately, like the last like five years, it's been pretty sunny. Like this year I had the air conditioner out in May and it was pretty much sunny from May until it's still sunny right now in the middle of September. When in the past, normally it wouldn't get sunny until the middle of July. So summer's pretty good uh, these days. However, statistically speaking, if we look at this chart here, Abbotsford is one of the rainiest cities in BC, getting 60.5 inches of rainfall every year, which is more than St. John's, Halifax, and Vancouver. And we average about 174 days of rain per year here in Abbotsford, which is nearly 50% of all of the days that happen. Fourth thing that you should know is Abbotsford has very little traffic within the city. However, if you need to commute and drive west towards Vancouver, there is pretty much always traffic and it gets really bad in high traffic times. Let's say from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. as well as 1.30 p.m. to 6 p.m it is pretty gridlocked on that highway. So if you're gonna live in Abbotsford, you're probably gonna want to have a job that's flexible or one that you can choose the times at which you have to commute to Vancouver or maybe you work from home some days and only have to go there two times a week or whatever it may be. Because for me, being a realtor, I just plan around that traffic. So I don't drive during those high traffic times. If I have to go out west, I plan for like after 10 a.m. I'll go there. That way I miss all that traffic, at least going one of the directions, going one way there. Abbotsford to Vancouver with no traffic is like a 45 minute drive. And I know this because I used to be a plumber and when I did the night shift, I would have to drive out there at like two in the morning and I could get to Vancouver basically in like 40, 45 minutes. But if you're driving during these half, these uh, high traffic times, it's probably gonna be like an hour and a half drive most of the time from Abbotsford to Vancouver. So this is probably the biggest factor and why a lot of people choose to live closer to the city. The third thing you're gonna wanna know is Abbotsford is roughly 25% cheaper than Surrey if you're buying a home. And Surrey, for reference, is about 20 to 25 minutes closer to downtown Vancouver, so it's further west. And then Abbotsford, in comparison to Vancouver, is less than half the price. And then Abbotsford, in comparison to Chilliwack, which is 20 to 25 minutes further east, so 20 to 25 minutes even further away from Vancouver, is about 25% more expensive than Chilliwack. So here in the Fraser Valley, Vancouver, Vancouver's metro area, the cheap, the sorry, the further east you go, the cheaper it gets. And you're gonna wanna know that because if you don't need to work in Vancouver, the further east you go, the less money you have to spend to get more room. Cause I mean, Chilliwack's detached home price in comparison to Vancouver, you're literally saving $1.6 million and you'd probably get a bigger house in Chilliwack. And obviously the climate in Chilliwack in comparison to Vancouver is pretty much the same climate, except in Chilliwack, you're probably gonna get a couple extra days of rain per year. And then your average rent for a two bed in Abbotsford is $18.62 per month in comparison to Surrey's, which is about 2,600 bucks per month. So the rent is substantial cheaper in Abbotsford, which is only 20 to 25 minutes down the road. Now, I know I talked a lot about not Abbotsford on this portion of the video. However, I think it's important to contrast Abbotsford with other cities in the area so you can make a decision on what's best for you. So let's talk about crime in Abbotsford. And again, I'm gonna contrast this with Surrey because if I just give you a bunch of crime statistics, it doesn't really tell a picture unless we're contrasting it with another city in the area. Now, I grew up in Surrey for 22 years and I can tell you that violent crime wasn't much of a worry for me because most of the violent crime was being done by gang members. And if you're not a gang member, you typically don't have to worry about gang members. And Surrey is most notorious for being, you know, the laughing stock of BC, so to speak, because it has a high crime rate or it did have a high crime rate or it's just perceived to have a really high crime rate. But, you know, living there for a long time, I never really felt like the crime rate there was excessively high. But my overall feeling here in comparison is that Abbotsford has a lot more petty crime 
and Surrey has more serious crime, I would say. Like Abbotsford, there's definitely feels like there's more drug usage, more homelessness, more car break-ins, theft, and stuff like that. Where Surrey, there would be more violent crime and even more random acts of violence, I would say. However, if we look at this chart, it says that the level of crime in Surrey is 71 versus Abbotsford's 62. And Abbotsford's ratings are better in almost every category However, you'll notice that people using or dealing drugs is higher and apparently crime has been increasing in the last three years. So my overall feeling was correct. There, it appears to be a little bit more drugs and uh, you know homelessness and stuff like that in the area. Now, if we look at the safety data, Abbotsford, you're much safer during the day. Meanwhile, Surrey is apparently safer at night, but I actually disagree with this wholeheartedly. And I think Abbotsford is overall much safer than Surrey. Like I said, it's mostly just petty crime. I've never felt unsafe safe at Ab in Abbotsford and I go for walks all the time. Me and my fiance go for night walks all the time in Mill Lake, which is you know not even a good area in Abbotsford. I've never felt unsafe. However, I cannot say the same for certain. And then the number one thing you should know about Abbotsford that is a massive pro is it low key has a lot of amazing amenities. Abbotsford even has more amenities than most of the cities going out west, I would argue. So Abbotsford has an international airport with a lot of direct flights to many other cities. And most of the people that I know, whether they live in Surrey, Langley, you know, Burnaby, whatever, a lot of them will actually travel to Abbotsford's airport as opposed to YVR, which is Vancouver's airport, because it's just less stressful, it's easier to park, it's easier to go through customs and whatever else, and it's just overall a much less stressful and easier experience than traveling through YVR. Abbotsford has tons of wineries, breweries, trendy restaurants, trendy cafes. It also has a brand new mall called High Street Mall. You can drive to the US border in less than 10 minutes from pretty much anywhere in Abbotsford. The Trans-Canada Highway basically cuts right through the center of Abbotsford. So pretty much no matter where you are in Abbotsford, you're 10 minutes or less to the highway with a few exceptions to that, which I can't say the same for most of the cities going west. Pretty much all the other cities go Going west from Abbotsford, you know, depending on which part of the city you're in, you could be 30 minutes away from the highway if there's traffic. Abbotsford actually has a mini theme park called Castle Fun Park that has mini golf, go-karts, a batting cage, and an arcade. It has an event center that hosts concerts and sporting events. You know, I've been to a couple uh, hockey games there. I've seen a couple concerts there. Like I actually saw Morgan Wallen there before he was super famous. And I've seen Dallas Smith there twice as well. I'm not a country guy, but if there's a concert within walking distance to my house, I'm gonna go to it. And Costco is a 15 minute drive from pretty much, again, anywhere in Abbotsford. So I personally think Abbotsford is amazing bang for your buck. I moved out here six years ago. Do not regret it at all. Absolutely love living here. And it really just comes down to what do you do for work and are you okay with commuting uh, based on what you do for work and how much you have to commute. But I just wanted to give you guys the real facts on living in Abbotsford. It's an amazing place to live. I know a lot of this sound negative, but at the end of the day, I live here. I moved here six years ago. I'm never moving back. This is where I live now. I love it here. If you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm that Agent Kelly. I'm making moves to move you. And by the way, watch this video if you like this one.